How are we doing, everybody? And welcome into the Indianapolis Colts rebuild here today. And on my last rebuild, I ended up using the active rosters. And it's basically, you get so you get an online sim, get used to active rosters, and they allow you to start Madden does um, basically from the playoffs. But the problem is with that is that when you uh, put in the draft class, where I just been using the auto generated ones, I haven't been using the import like you know real classes. So when you use when you just use the auto generated classes. It's the same class every single time. So if I were to start like in the playoffs, like I did last episode, where it'll basically like a start today, like NBA has, um, it's the same auto generated group of guys. So it's the same exact class, same exact class. So I don't want to have to deal with that. I don't want to have to use the same single uh, rookie file every single time. So what I am going to do is like I did with the first uh, rebuild I did on the channel, which was the Falcons rebuild, where I basically just went through the first year and force simmed every single game for every single team. It takes a little bit of time, but you guys won't see it. I'll obviously cut that part out like I did in the first episode. But yeah, that's what I'm about to do here shortly. But I wanted to get into the intro of what we're dealing with here today with the Colts. So I've already, you know, generated the rookies, so I'm not worrying about those guys right now. I'll go ahead and hire and assign our scouts based on what we need after we take a rundown of our roster. So starting here with the roster going into the year, obviously we know we're going to have the four. Basically, we know like in real life, the Colts had the fourth pick. Um, So hopefully we'll be like basically right there. I'll basically because the problem is, is that they don't allow you to tie when you force win and lose in Madden. So there's obviously ties in you know that happened in real life plus um you have the that bengal bill game that never finished in general anyway so i do my best to basically make it as close as possible so we should be picking at four if not we'll be picking at like five you know we'll be right there um but looking at this team we'll start with the offense obviously um glaring hole at quarterback matt ryan nick Foles, sam ellinger not going to cut it so we need to find the quarterback of our future early um i think the the problem with the last couple is I've kind of danced around getting the quarterback almost right away. So if we can get the quarterback right away, we have to get the quarterback right away because we need our quarterback to develop. If it's a young guy, he needs to develop as fast as possible. Uh, set at running back for the whole video, more than likely Jonathan Taylor shouldn't be going anywhere. Receiver, I like Michael Pittman as a young guy. I like the, the future of Alec Pierce. I know Paris Campbell, although I really like the player. I know he's a looming free agent, so it really depends on his in, uh Interest level, if he keeps normal development, because I'm not going to extend him for long term if he still has normal development. Offensive line wise, uh, got a good couple building blocks. Obviously, with Quill Nelson, one of the best left guard, one of the best guards in general, one of the best offensive linemen in the league. Ryan Kelly, still solid at center. And then we got Braden Smith at right tackle. Uh, Ryman, young left tackle. We'll see if he can, you know, progress at all a little bit. And then we definitely have a hole at the other guard. Um, Tight end wise, Molly Cox has been okay, has been solid for the Colts for a while. And then we got young Jelani Woods. Definitely could use an upgrade maybe at tight end. Defensive wise, though, they run the 4 3. Gonna, the plan is to always stay in the at least the set defense of the 4 3. And we can move the playbook, obviously, as we need to. But the goal is to basically stay in a 4 3 unless we need to change it. Um, starting with the defense line, definitely the strength of this team. DeForest Buckner, Grover Stewart, Yannick Ngakwe, and Quidi Pipe. Really good defense alignment. Hope, hopefully, we can keep them together for the majority of this uh, rebuild. Uh, I know Ngakwe is a free agent, so we'll have to see what happens with him. Uh, when we, now we move back to the back side of the front seven. Uh, linebackers, Bobby Okereke, also free agent, but I'd like to bring him back if we can. Shaq Leonard, superstar X-Factor, really like him. Uh, I don't think he, what is he, 27? Yeah, 27, so hopefully he won't digress, regress for a while. And then other side, we definitely have a whole dealer outside linebacker spot. Uh, secondary wise, Stephon Gilmore, still superstar development, really good. Definitely going to be able to still give us probably a few good years, especially if we bring him back when he's up for contract. Kenny Moore, really great slot corner. And then Isaiah Rogers, as much as I love him as a return man, he's definitely not the future as our third corner. So we'll have to look there. And second, and then the safeties, I really like Julian Blackman as a player. And then we got uh, McLeod and McLeod. I think he's like 32. So, I mean, there's a whole strong safety. Yeah. So McLeod 32 years old, we're definitely have to look to upgrade that. But overall, I like I like a lot of the parts of the team. Don't like a lot of it at the same time. So, like I said, I'm going to go through. I'm going to hire inside our scouts, who I'll probably put my national scout as the quarterback. And then we will go ahead. Ooh, number one player in the class is from Nebraska? Jeez. We might have to grab Dom Flynn, that dog. But, yeah, I'm going to set our scouts. And I'm going to go through in the four sim, and I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Okay, all the simming I had to do is done. So we are here at Super Bowl week, Eagles, Chiefs, just like in real life. At the time I'm recording this, 
the Eagles and Chiefs still have not played each other in the Super Bowl, so I'm just going to sim pass this week and see what happens. No, obviously not going to force win anybody. Um, So we are here at the end of the year, so let's take a look at our team, see if we had any uh, upgrades anywhere. Um, Jonathan Taylor's better. No development. Ooh, Alec Pierce got star dev, so that's awesome. So Alec Pierce it makes him more likely to be a part of our long-term future. Uh, no other changes on offense, it looks like, defensively. Um, Forrest Buckner already had X-Factor. Kenny Moore has got superstar development now, which is dope. And that's it. Everything else remains the same. But that's cool that Kenny Moore got superstar development. Makes him definitely more likely to stick around more long-term. So that's cool. We will advance this now to the offseason. Okay, we'll taking a look at Mock Draft 3 now that we know uh, where we're going to be picking. So yeah, in real life, we pick at 4. The Colts pick at four in real life, but in this, we're picking at five just due to the fact that you can't, you know, the ties and whatnot messes everything up. So we're picking here at five. So uh, we know that Dom Flynn's a top five talent, so I'm going to go up and grab him more than likely. I mean, skills look really good. A throw on the run, A under pressure, A deep accuracy, A short accuracy, B medium accuracy. Uh, I'm curious about, we'll have to see what his throw power is. It says solid to good, but definitely going to probably have to move up and grab him to get our quarterback of the future to start up this this uh, rebuild. All right, players to resign. Dang, oh Greek. Well, he wants so much. he wants a lot of money. He doesn't want to play for us either. I'm gonna probably give it to him. I'm gonna give him a. I'm gonna give him a five year. I'll give him a fair player friendly deal, but it's gonna be five years. See if he takes that. He's coming back. All right, five year deal for our middle linebacker, and then ugh, Paris Campbell doesn't want to come back. I'm not gonna sign him. And then Ngakwe, I'd give Ngakwe. I guess a two year deal. I'm just gonna player friendly. Maybe give him nine mil a year. He's coming back as well. So we got Ngakwe back, Stardev, and those are probably the only people I'm going to bring back. Yep, that's going to be it. All right, so looking at our offense. Uh, offense line obviously could use a guard. Quarterback not going to worry about due to the fact we're going to draft one. Could use a receiver. So receiver, guard, maybe a tight end, maybe not. Um, could obviously use an outside linebacker as well, maybe a DB. We'll see who's available at free agency. Okay, receiver wise, um, the only person that has some interest is Juju. He wants twenty mil a season. He's got superstar development though. He's twenty six superstar development. We got forty two mil. We'll come back to that. I'm curious about the offensive guards. Is there anyone here that we could plug and play? Nate Davis is going. Who I'm going to offer here? I'm going to give him a very player friendly deal. Bump this up to like eleven mil a year for four. See if he'll take that. We need a right guard so. We're still not in his top offer, so we are not going to get him. I'm just going to withdraw that offer because we're not getting Nate Davis. I'm going to go ahead and give Elijah Wilkinson a one-year deal to probably play right guard for us if we don't find one a better one in the draft. So we do need an off-ball linebacker. Kazir White is interested. I'd give Kazir White like a two-year deal. Two-year deal. Give him a little bit more money. Probably bring Kazir White to be our off-ball linebacker. Could use another corner as well. We're good. We're good at safety, I think. I mean, we could upgrade over McLeod. Mike Edwards would be all right for two seasons. I take Edwards. Doesn't want too much money. I could probably give him three years. Three years for Edwards. Last thing I'm going to do is offer out William Jackson a two-year deal. So the four guys we're targeting, William Jackson, Mike Edwards, Kazir White, and Elisha Wilkinson. Day one's going by. We got all. We got three of William Jackson, Edwards, and Kazir White. We're going to get Wilkinson. I think we did. Yeah, we get Wilkinson, White, Edwards, William Jackson. We are 4 for 4 on our signings. Um, I need to take a look to see. We'll, we'll advance to next week, and I'll take a look again see if there's anything else I want to offer. So looking at our team, we still definitely need a third receiver and then maybe a tight end. We'll see. Just going to give Paris Campbell a one-year deal to hopefully come back. And last thing I'm going to make is a three-year deal for Jake Elliott. So we get both of Paris Campbell and Jake Elliott. So that'll do it for free agency. We are going to get to this NFL draft where I will be more than likely moving up for that quarterback. Final look at the mock draft before we get into it. Yep, we are picking at five. I am going to move up and take Dom Flynn out of Nebraska. Go Big Red. So we're at five. We'll have to get rid of that pick and move up to get it. But that it, it's cool. That's cool. Okay, here in the NFL Draft, going to go ahead and move over to the Texans and try to grab this pick for them. Let's see what it's going to take. First, we have two seconds, so first and another second gets it done. So we move our fifth, a second, and now we will go ahead and take Dom Flynn out of Nebraska to be the quarterback of this rebuild. Hopefully, 
getting him right away is going to help our ch- chances of developing him really fast. 6'2", 225 from Nebraska. Going to be a selection in development. We knew he was going to top five talent in the class. Hopefully he can lead us to the promised land. Really liking the look at this tight end. Elite speed, elite strength, elite agility. This is the fifth pick in the second round. Fast tight end. Get, ran a 4 tight end. James Golden's going to be the pick here. I'm going to take James Golden. Hopefully he can be our tight end in the future. 88 speed for a tight end. 88 speed. What a pick. What a pick. All right, here in the third round, I think I'm going to take this center, Theo Burbank. He's a pass protector, but he already we know he has B run block. Pass protector, B run block. He could maybe move over to guard if we need him to. Theo Burbank's going to be the pick here. I think that that B run block, but knowing he's a pass block tech is intriguing to me. He does have hidden development. Let's go. Three for three on hidden devs so far. We'll take it. All right, I'm going to take this uh, defensive end here in the fourth round. Brooks Becker, um, power rushing. B power moves, B tackle, D block shed, but it looks like he's got some pretty good uh, intangibles, so I'm going to take him here. He does end up well, man. We're 4 Doing well. All right, going to take this outside linebacker here in the fifth round. Looks like he runs pretty decently. He's pretty quick. Just an off-ball linebacker. No, he, I know he's got normal depth. 78 speed, maybe not as fast as I thought, but it's just a depth. All right, sixth round pick. Just going to take this speedy receiver. No, he's probably got normal dev. Yeah, 94 speed, though. We'll take it. 97 XL. Is what it is. DeAndre Boatwright out of BC. And I believe now our last pick here in the draft. Um, You guys will see here shortly who I take. All right. Actually going to take a kicker here. I know we just signed uh, Elliot, but uh, Danny Simmons has great kick power and we are here in the seventh round. So I'm just going to go ahead and take him. <laughs> we'll see. Normal dev, but 95 kick power definitely could be the kicker for the future. All right. Loading on the draft. Take a look at the draft recap. I'd say overall went really well. A 78 overall quarterback, Dom Flynn on Nebraska, James Golden, tight end, uh, Theo Burbank, hidden dev, offensive lineman, uh, Brooks Becker, hidden dev, and definitely missed on this outside linebacker, but kicker 71 overall and but right to 69. So not too terrible. We'll definitely take it as we will now sim this to the regular season. Okay, here at the start now of the 2023 regular season, just going to check out the just the lineup. See how we're looking going into this year's yep. So we got Don Flynn, obviously Jonathan Taylor receivers, Pittman, Campbell as well with Alec Pierce, and uh we got Boatwright as w, uh, WR4. Offensive line rinse the same outside of Elijah Wilkinson now playing right guard. Um Burbank probably will eventually get those He'll probably start here shortly, probably when he gets a upgrade to about 73. Tight end now we got Golden, Jelani Woods, and Granson. No more Ali Cox, he's gone, and then defensively. Looking pretty good. Same front, same exact uh, front seven, except for we signed because you're white. Uh, DB, Stephon Gilmore, Kenny Moore, Isaiah Rogers, and William Jackson. I'll move William Jackson up to CB3. And then we got uh, Julian Blackman and now Mike Edwards. Uh, special teams, we're good there. And then check out the specials, make sure we're good. Divorce Buckner, yes. Okay. So slot corner is good. Okay. Yeah, we're all set. Four here at year number, basically year number one in the rebuild 2023 season. Uh, I will see you guys at the midseason point. Four and three here at the midseason point. Check out mock draft two. See where, see what the class is looking like and kind of where we're projected to be picking from. Okay. Where are we going to be? We're probably going to be what? Like midway down if we even have our pick. Do we have our pick? Our 21? Yeah, it makes sense. All right. They have taken a guard. Okay. Cool. Not worrying about that right now. Uh, Going to worry. Importantly, we need to figure out um, what we're going to do here with our players trying to negotiate. Jonathan Taylor needs to be re-signed, so he's going to absolutely get paid. I'm um, just going to probably get this done here right now, give him a seven-year deal for 12 mil. And he doesn't want to do that yet, so not worrying about him yet. Uh, Gilmore, I'll probably end up bringing back, just not right now. Kenny Moore, for sure, I'm going to bring back. I'll probably give him a two-year deal for now. Player-friendly deal. And he doesn't want to come back yet either. Okay, so... Uh, Pittman more than likely coming back. I might as well pay him here right now. Five, five year deal for about 17, 15, 16, 17 mil. Yeah. He's coming back on that. And then Blackman, I'll probably bring back as well. Once that opens up, that's the only one I'm worried about right now. Um, Grover Stewart, I'd probably, I'd like to bring back probably for at least a season. I might just player friendly deal him but give him a one-year deal see if he takes that for 14 he's not going to take that yet okay so we have 11 mil to work with we'll we'll probably have to clear some cap space anyway in the off season but four and three i think we're doing solid so far we'll keep it moving to the end of the year 
Dang, nine and eight. Looks like we missed the playoffs. Looks like Titans had the tiebreaker over us. Yeah, Titans got the tiebreaker over us. We missed the playoffs by literally a game. I mean, we were nine and eight. They were nine and eight as well. Offense could have been better. Defense was, I'd say, solid. It was all right. But let's take a look at the stats for this year. I mean, it was a good year. It was an overall good year. We'll take nine and eight. Um, probably going to have to switch the playbook down. Don Flynn. He's wearing number 24. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, 31 touchdowns, 16. Not uh, not terrible for rookie year or 4,000 yards. Jonathan Taylor was good. Over 1,600 yards and 11 scores. Alec Pierce leading our team receiving. He's killing in the slot. Paris Campbell was good. Pittman was pretty solid as well. Uh, James Golden had a great year. Hopefully, he uh, got a. we'll have to take a look at his dev trade when we get to the Super Bowl week. Um, defensively, Bobby Gill. Look at the tackles. We had four guys over 100 tackles and mike edwards was close too as well tags for loss grover stewart and quitty pay led our way and then deforest bucking 11 and a half sacks gawkway eight and a half and picks wise four for shack leonard four for gilmore and two for okarike okay going ahead and advance into the super weeks and we'll take a look at our lineup and see uh, what uh deb trade upgrades we have and kind of figure out where we are at going into the off season okay looking at the team at the end of the year James Golden, superstar dev. Um, I wonder if he got it or let's check progression history. Superstar often he won offensive rookie of the year. Cool. So he was star dev, got up to superstar development, which is great. That's our tight end for the future there. Burbank up to 75 or well, 74, playing up with morale. So he'll probably slot in to play right guard for us next year. Receivers still looking for that third receiver, probably out with Pittman, Pearson, looking for a third one. Jonathan Taylor, we're going to have to bring back. Dom Flynn, a superstar X Factor. Hold up. I don't know why I just gla grazed over this. Did he get it? No, he had superstar X Factor. Okay, great pick on our part. He's wearing number 24. I need to change this. Okay, so with Dom Flynn, superstar X Factor, we're, I mean, it has to, it looks really bright, obviously. That's that's big time. Um, okay, we don't know Becker yet because obviously he didn't play like at all. Defensively, no one else changed, but overall, we're looking good. I mean, offense looks like it's going to be in a good position. Defense as well, as long as we bring back the guys we need to. Uh, we'll... All right, 2023 season recap. We know, I think we had the offensive rookie of the year. No, okay. That's weird. So it gave us Elijah McGee, but maybe we had offensive. T rookie tight i don't know how it works but lamar jackson mvp jets coach of the year with brayden williamson okay cooper cup offensive player of the year nick bosa defensive player of the year elijah mcgee offensive rookie of the year for the bucks quarterback and then kendrick Bryan, uh linebacker for the giants and the Bengals defeat the packers in the super bowl all right taking a look at mock draft three before we resign get into resigning our players we should be picking what right around 20 i'd assume 16 they want to take middle linebacker Lucas Ward. Um, we'll have to see what position of need we're going to end up having because we definitely are probably going to lose some guys here in free agency due to the fact that it doesn't seem like we have the money to bring back everybody, but we'll need to figure that out right here right now. Let's see what our cap is looking like. $84 million, so at least it opened up a little bit. Um, yeah, we definitely have to bring Jonathan Taylor back. Um, if he doesn't accept this very friendly offer, we will tag him. We're not, okay, cool. He's back. John Taylor's back for seven more years here for the long term. Uh, definitely going to bring Gilmore back as well. I'd give Gilmore probably a one-year deal for like 13 mil. I think he would take that. Gilmore is back as well. 56 mil here to play with. Kenny Moore's got to come back. I'm giving him probably a two-year deal, player-friendly. He's coming back as well. 39 mil now. Grover Stewart has to come back. Um neutral deal he's interested though now so i feel like if we just gave him a one-year deal for like 13 mil he's coming back he's coming back okay 26 mil now to deal with not going to sign back rogers do you want to bring back blackman and that'll probably that'll be it so just got to bring back um julian blackman here and then we'll have a little bit of cap room it seems like i'd four-year deal for blackman and he's back on the team so we got 20 mil to deal with in free agency we'll figure out what we want to do when we get all right i'm going to go ahead and move uh our Former rookie, now going to second year Burbank over to right guard uh, since Elijah Wilkinson is leaving in for agency. So offense line, I think we're going to be fine. Offensively, like I said, I need a, I need a third receiver. Looks like we are going to need a backup running back too at some point. So receiver is important. Defensively, looks like we have like all of our guys back. William Jackson's still here. Um, not a pressing hole on the defense. Um, we'll see. We got 20 mil to deal with. I think receiver is probably the most important thing. And Lamar Jackson's here, like he always is, and he does want to come here, but we're obviously not bringing in Lamar Jackson. Okay, so looking at receivers, we have Pittman, Alec Pierce, and then we could bring in Ayuk. Ayuk is interested. So is Hollywood Brown. 
Um, I think Hollywood. I mean, thirteen mil. I think that we're we're gonna go ahead and take Hollywood. I think. I think Hollywood. He's got no offers. Really interested in us. I would give him a four year deal. On a neutral contract, I think he would take that for about twelve. Yeah, I think he's gonna sign that. We actually probably could take the money down. I'm actually gonna withdraw that here. Hold on. Okay. Team friendly, but it's gonna be a four year deal. I think he will accept that. If I see him get a bunch more offers after that, we will we'll uh, bump that up for him. Okay, so that's good. We do probably need a backup offensive. I mean, a backup running back, but. We can always, you know, look at that in the future. Man, Diggs is interested in us. But we just don't have the money for it. Kind of sucks. Oh, man, I should just grab Diggs. I should withdraw that offer on Hollywood and grab Diggs. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to withdraw that offer on Hollywood. And I'm going to grab Trayvon Diggs. Five-year deal for Diggs on a neutral contract. I think he'll end up accepting that. That's going to be our only offer. So I'm just going to go ahead and eval it. We got Trayvon Diggs. So Trayvon. Trayvon Diggs joins the team, so he'll join um, Kenny Moore and Stephon Gilmore in our secondary. That's a big time signing. We only have three mil. Um, we'll see if we get we can swing anyone else. Okay, so I think our best plan going forward is just go ahead and with this first round, not sign anyone else, and with this first round pick, maybe look to go receiver. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check out this uh, mock draft. I did not mean to click that. I need to check out this mock draft four. I think there's a receiver that's projected to go in the first round. I might double definitely take a look at him try to get our third receiver of the future okay looks like there's about five first round receivers uh garrison brown's here but he doesn't look that intriguing uh dom walker jose cordova Corey ferris i think look like the three best although rafael Rea looks all right as well i'll probably use my three um focus on these three and we'll see which one ends up looking the best and we'll make a decision there on which one we're probably going to take in the first round Okay, so just took a look at mock draft five. Uh, we're picking at 16. There's only two receivers projected to go in the first round. It's Corey Ferris supposed to go at uh, 24, Rafael Ray at 27. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and still put it on these three. And if none of them looks overly intriguing, we'll probably just end up maybe going Rafael Ray. We'll figure it out, though. I'm going to go with those three receivers. I'll uh, see you guys in the NFL draft. I'm just going to sim right to our pick and then decide whether or not we want to move down from that spot or if we're going to take someone there at 16. Okay, we're about 90, 95, 90 to 95% completion, all three of these guys. All right, let's take a look at all the options here. We got Corey Ferris, D catching traffic, C catching, B deep route, B release. He's fast. He runs 4-2, 4-3, um, elite speed, really good, great acceleration, great agility. I don't think we can go wrong with taking him. He's probably got head in development. Then we got Jose Cordova, physical archetype, B catching traffic, B catching, B release. Slower, stronger, not interested. And then Dom Walker, A deep route, B release, B catching. Fastest uh, player in the class, but Forrest does. Ferris, I, Forrest. Ferris looks better, I think. I think he looks like the best one. Uh, Rafael Ray, I don't think he ran that well. He's a physical receiver, 6'5", 220. Yeah, 4'4", four, four, I mean, 4'4", four, 6 is really good. He's definitely really good. He's got a lead strength. But I think um, for the sake of safety, I feel like Corey Ferris is probably the move, and that's who I'm going to take. I'm going to see if I can move down. He's not projected to go until um, 24, so if I could only move down like a few spots and pick up another pick, I will. So with the Eagles, I'm moving down to 23. He's projected to go 24. I'm going to move down to 23 and pick up another second-round pick. Um, I don't think he's going to get taken before this point. I'm just going to – I'll go one by one just to hope – Pray that he doesn't go. There goes Hill, Crane. Okay. No receivers because he's supposed to be the top one to go. Don't do it, Jets. Don't do it. Okay. They took the middle linebacker that I originally wanted to take. So 23, we're going to take Corey Ferris out as Arizona State. Hopefully, hidden development receiver. Um, here he is. I think he looks pretty good. Catching traffic's not great, but he looks like a burner. 5'10. 189, 22 years old, out of Arizona State. Let's select him. Normal dev. Dang, that sucks. But hopefully he'll play well enough where he can get upgraded. But, man, that's disappointing. 97 speed, though. I mean, he looks really good. He just has normal dev. So hopefully he can get development trade upgrade. All right, so this is where the other – I'm here at 27. This is where the other receiver, Rafael Ray, is going to go. Man, I mean – I could move. He looks really good too. I could move up and take Rafael Ray. We can grab two receivers. 
that give us Pittman, Pierce, Ray, and that guy. I might do it. Um, it depends how much it costs me to move up. If I just had to give up a couple for a couple of my seconds, I'd probably do it. But I'm just going to sit here and think about it for a little bit. Maybe look at a couple other options as well. All right, giving up a second and a future third to go up and get 27. I am going to take Rafael Ray here. This might be a huge miss. I might be taking two normal development receivers, but um, we get a physical outside guy and we get um, more of a burner guy. Rafael Ray is going to really pick here on Notre Dame. Normal development, I definitely just missed on both of them. That's tough. That's tough. All right, here midway through the second round, Zeke Kaysen still here. Holy liver, should I double third, third receiver? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're here mid at the midway point of the second round. Um, not nothing of, I mean, we do need a backup running back, but I'm not going to take one here in the second round. I uh, might just take one later, but I'm going to look around the board. Don't need tight end, even though, whoa, hold on. This tight end looks like a dog. Jack Hutchinson. He looks pretty good, but I'm not taking him. Don't need him. Okay. This middle linebacker, Michael o Orchard looks really good. Um, Elite agility, good speed, top middle linebacker on the board, really strong. I think he's got A zone coverage too. So uh gonna keep him in mind. I'll probably end up going him if I don't see anything else, but just wanted to point that out there. Man, I really like this corner Rich, uh Richard Beecham as well. Fast, strong, um, B press, B man, C zone. I think he's that's a pretty good corner right there. Um wouldn't be against maybe moving up and grabbing him too. If we take the middle linebacker and we go up and grab him. Might look at a couple of these safeties here before I do that, though. And another really good safety, Kyle Green. Strong, fast, looks good. There's a lot of guys that I'm definitely interested in. I think Kyle Green might be the pick, but also think I'm going to go ahead and take that middle linebacker. I don't know. It's tough to say. I, I don't know. Kyle Green's good. I want Kyle Green. I want both of those. Man, there's hold on. Harvey Street, is he a dog too? C zone, he's strong. Man, maybe not as good. Okay, not as good as I thought, but definitely like all these guys. Um, I think I just go ahead and take this middle linebacker though. Michael Orchard from Penn State. I'm going to go ahead and grab him here. And then be actually before I click pick, let me see how far this corner is down the board. Because do I need to move up and get him? Yeah, he's like 10 picks away. So I'll uh, I probably need to move up and grab him if I want him. But I'm going to take this middle linebacker here right now, and then I'll probably move up after a pick or two and grab that corner. But Michael Orchard, welcome to the team. Hopefully his hidden development. He does. Hidden development, middle linebacker. That's nice for the future, especially with, uh, you know, don't know who's going to be long-term in that of our three linebackers. I know we signed Bobby Okari, but who knows. For long-term, I'll probably skip a couple picks. If he goes, he goes. It is what it is. He went the next pick. Ah, uh, that's funny. All right. Now we're just going to go to our next pick. All right. Take a look at another corner here. Uh, he's a man to man cover. I know he's got, he's got D zone depressed, but he's 6'3, 188. That's kind of intriguing. So I'm thinking about him here in the third round. Never mind. I saw the F play recognition. Now I'm kind of against that. Um, all right. Going to go ahead and take this D tackle here. Um, run stopper Deacon Alexander looks like pretty, I mean, looks pretty athletic. Um, run stopper, see finesse, power moves. Just gonna, we just grabbing a guy for some depth. Uh, it does have hidden development. Thought he might good, pretty good pickup there. All right. Here in the fourth round, probably the last, geez, look at this wide receiver F catching FD route running F catching traffic D release. That's horrible. Uh, yeah. Last, uh, pick I'm probably going to end up making here since we are in the fourth round. Uh, we'll see what I do here. You guys will see when we get there. All right, going to go ahead and take this uh, free safety, Connor Bridge. Looks like pretty good. He's strong. Seems pretty athletic. Going to go ahead and grab him here in the fourth round. This will be our last pick out of Iowa. Gross. <laughs> uh, this will be our last pick here. I'm just going to let the CPU take care of the rest. All right, taking a look here at the draft. Recap, see how we did. Corey Ferris, normal dev, but 74 overall looks pretty good. Uh, Rafael Royal, 72, normal dev as well. So two normal dev receivers, but both, I mean, Corey Ferris is probably slotting as our third, and then Rafael Ray might get someone else to four, and then Orchard looks pretty decent too. Deacon Alexander hitting dev, 65 overall, and we'll see if he ever plays, and then Connor Bridge, 66 overall, and that's what the CPU did. All right, so yeah, I don't know how much money we have, but Cordero Patterson's sitting here. We have had enough for Patterson. I'll grab Patterson to be our backup running back this year. Superstar development still, which is... Cool, and yeah, he'll be our backup. I got to see if we need a kicker and a punter. That's something I need to check out too right now. That's what I'll do real quick. But yeah, 
I guess so. Uh, while I'm while we're here, um, I'll let you guys, we'll, we'll take a look at what how we're looking like for the preseason. So Patterson jumps in. I forgot. Oh, they drafted a Hen Dev third string running back. Cool. Okay. But Patterson will be our second receive second running back. Ferris will move into our third receiver, which is dope. Offensive line looks solid. Uh, defensively, I mean, it looks really good, especially with Trayvon, <laughs> Trayvon Diggs now with Kenny Moore and Gilmore. Yeah, it's a pretty, it's pretty lethal, uh, secondary, uh, special teams wise. Do we need to sign anybody? looks like now we are good on that front. Okay, cool. So we will head now to the beginning of the season. All right, here at the mid season point, we're four and three leading the division. So we'll definitely take that, um, upgrade our players quick, and then we'll figure out how we are looking for negotiations. All right, we got 11 players ready to negotiate. I'm tr in definitely interested to see. Okay, punter doesn't matter. DeForest Buckner, ooh, has to come back. But I don't think I bring him back right now because he's probably only going to get worse. And he has no recent interest right now. I don't think there's anyone I'm going to bring back right now at this moment. I mean, I think I still want Grover Street, but maybe after he gets a little bit worse, we'll resign him for maybe less money. Everyone else will figure it out here shortly once we get to the end of the year. And hopefully we're in the playoffs. We have 66 million cap. So hopefully that'll open up maybe even a little bit more at the end of the year. Um, but before we get onto that, let me check out mock draft two. We'll see if there's any anyone I need to go up and get. Ooh, there's a generational running back question mark. Nathan Turner out of Clemson. We obviously don't need him, but is he a dog? Great to lead speed. Port strength marginal. That's not good. But curious to see if there's anyone else up here that we would need. Uh, Ralph Dunn scrambling quarterback. Can he fly? Great. Nah, decent at solid speed. Dang. <laughs> Geez, there's another really there's another top ten caliber running back. Richard Kaufman out of Clemson. Okay. Ooh, marginal decent speed. That's not good, but maybe he's a good player. I don't know. All right, gonna go ahead and sim this to the playoffs. Hopefully, we are a playoff team this year in year two. Um, it'd be nice. Uh, hopefully win the division, but even for a wild card team, I'd take that for now. It seems like we're in a pretty good spot. Hopefully our quarterback just keeps developing and whatnot. And if one of those receivers that we drafted, more likely Ferris because he's playing, could get to start at, that'd be nice. And then defensive wise, we just need to keep holding the holding the ship down on defense. Okay, sweet. We won the division at eleven and six. We actually we are in the wild card round, of course. I can never seem to get that first round by. Never can seem to do it, but it's okay. Um, wild card round, we made it. We're taking on the Jets. Um, upgrade our players, and then we'll take a look at how we did stats wise this year. Okay, Dom Flynn, 32 touchdowns, 14 picks, 4,300 yards. I mean, it's not terrible. Definitely could be better. Uh, John Taylor was good again. Almost 1,500 yards and 17 scores. And then receiving James Golden's going off. 1100 over 1,100 yards, only four touchdowns, but big time. 91 catches. Pierce, okay. Ferris was good. And then Pittman was all right. Maybe Pittman wasn't the right move to long-term extend, but that's okay. Did Rafael Ray have any? Did Rafael Ray have any catches? Probably not. He's the fourth receiver. Yeah, no catches for Rafael Ray. That's kind of unfortunate. Defensively, though, Shaq Leonard and Bobby O'Kareek both over 110 tackles, 120 for Shaq Leonard. Tackles for losses. We got 13 by Buckner, 11 by Pay, 11 for Ngakwe, and then sacks crossed. They're pretty even. Oh, Nagel's getting some uh, getting some run now. Nice. But pay at eight, Gakwe eight, Buckner eight, or six. Okay. So hopefully, looks like we have the fifteenth offense, fifteenth offense, and doesn't even say the what rank in defense. I'll check here on this main screen before we sim this week. Of uh, yeah, well, eleventh offense points per game, which we'll take in third and defense points per game. Okay, so our defensive passing yards per game not good. Uh, offense passing yards per game not too good. Hopefully, we can go ahead and get this win this week. I'm just gonna sim it to next week, like I always do for the wild card round. Come on, get us to the divisional. Get us to the divisional. Yes, we actually got it done. 28-26, close one. Take it on Cincinnati now. And man, feels good. We're already we're in the divisional in year two, which never happens for me. So definitely we'll take it. Uh gonna go ahead and we'll hop into the super sim. All right, at home here against uh Joe Burrow in Cincinnati. Hopefully we can just like get a lead and then not look back. Field goal first, okay. Up three nothing. Looks like we're driving here again. Can we get points? Did we not score? Okay, we did score. Sweet. Okay, 10 nothing. Nice. Okay, we're back on offense again. Let's go. Let's keep pouring it on. I made a field goal. Get a stop. Hold him. Okay, holding the field goal. Good. We getting points again? Let's go. 23. We are just letting him have it. 27 to 3. Let's go. Need it. Don't want to even have to jump in yet. Keep it. Just keep it going. 34 3. We are blowing them out here in the divisional. Easy dub for the Colts. I love it. We are actually going to make it on to the next round. I love it. I love it. Way too easy for the team. And we're moving on, baby. Let's go. 
All right, 37-21 was the final. Flynn was so good, 151 point. Yeah, look at the QBR, 16-23, three touchdowns did his job. Jonathan Taylor was all right. T. Higgins, 10 catches, dang. Peter Hamilton, looks like second-year tight end. Pittman, six for 168, two scores. You heard me talking shit, and he was like, let's ball. Love to see it. Good job there. We get the win in the divisional, moving on to the conference championship now. All right, conference championship. Who else but the freaking Kansas City Chiefs? Of course we got to face the Chiefs, so. Maybe we can get lucky and, def and defeat them, but they're so good. They're always in it. They're always. I bet they make the conference championship like every year in sim. I'm not saying they always win the Super Bowl, but I swear they always make the conference championship. We'll see though. At least we're home. That's at least good. We're up seven nothing. That's a good start. Fourteen to three. Quick points. I love it. Fourteen to ten. Can we get some more points for half? We get a field goal. Okay. Okay, still got a 17 10 lead. Now it's 17. All oh, looks like they're driving again. Big to take control, keep driving. So we got the ball right now. Okay, field goal. We got it. 2017. They're driving right now. They got, they scored. Dang. Okay. Can we get off the field? All right, down 11. I'm going to jump in and see if I can get points on this drive. Oh, fourth and five. Okay, well, this is the game right here if we don't get this. You see Dom Flynn now wearing number three, not wearing number freaking 24. See what we can do here. Just quickly, Jonathan Taylor. And I can't get there in time because he stopped running his route. We turn the ball over. That's going to do it. We're going to lose here year two in the freaking conference championship. Dang it. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. All right. Hold up. We actually got the ball back. And we're like close. So 30 seconds left. We're going to need an onside kick too. But we're going to try. Why not try for it? Going to our superstar development tight end. He makes the catch. Go. Can I use a timeout? Flag? Please don't be holding. Please be like roughing the passer. Defense pass interference. Okay, that's fine. Um, I guess we'll accept the penalty. I mean, we probably could have declined it. Hold on, I want to score. Does the clock run? Okay, I think I did. If I accept that, does the clock run? It doesn't really matter. It was a two yard difference, so it didn't really matter to me. We're going to call a timeout. Alec Pierce, nice catch, but timeout. Uh, another day of me throwing interceptions and the freaking rebuilds. I swear I'm not this terrible. If we, if you guys, if you guys, anyone here who watches the rebuilds that watches Steelers franchise, I'm not this bad. I promise. All right, 2024 season recap. Chiefs lost to the Commanders. Okay, whatever. Chase Young, Super Bowl MVP. Uh, Jalen Hurts MVP on the Falcons. Why? Arthur Smith, Coach of the Year. Cooper Cup. Offense player of the year, Quinn Williams, defense player of the year. Corey Ferris, offense rookie of the year. Let's go. That definitely got him up to start up. And Abdul Wofford of the Lions wins the defensive rookie of the year. But that'll take a look here. Up, We'll take a look at our roster. Check out how we are looking going into next season. Obviously, you're going to have to resign some guys. But yeah, Ferris is up to an 80. Well, up to star. He's playing up to an 80 with morale. Receivers were pretty set there, like we've said. Offensive line maybe could use an upgrade at tackle. We got to see what our money situation is looking like. And then defensively, Kazir White is going to walk, which is fine because Orchard is just going to step over and play um, the right side linebacker. So I'm going to make that change for right now. Okay, and then defense line-wise, um, looks like we got to bring back. We have to bring back Buckner. Probably going to try to bring back Grover Stewart and then maybe look to upgrade Ngakwe. I think that's the plan. Ooh, Mike Edwards got a superstar, but that's dope. So other than that, it looks like we're pretty set. Uh, Gilmore, probably going to look to bring maybe Gilmore back. Probably Gilmore, maybe for at least one more year. We'll see, though. All right, players ready to go. We got 60 mil to deal with. DeForest Buckner is the most important piece. I'm definitely going to give him a two-year deal. He's coming back on that. That's great. Gilmore. I'd give Gilmore one. Let's see if he wants it. One-year deal for Gilmore. He's coming back, too. We got 35 mil here dealing with Grover Stewart. Going to bring him back as well on a one-year deal. Just, you know, Band-Aids. Ba I mean, they're good players, but they're Band-Aids every single time. And Gakwe, I'm going to let walk. William Jackson's going to walk. Patterson's going to walk. Because your White's going to walk. Um, I think everyone here is going to walk, except for I probably need to bring Ryan Kelly back, at least for a season. Kelly's back for a year, okay. 17 mil. Do I want to bring back Odenigbo? We got 17 mil. I could probably try to get an edge rusher for that. We'll figure it out. Mock draft three does have us taking an offensive tackle. I could definitely see me taking an offensive tackle, just to, you know, maybe upgrade one of those spots. Maybe I'll put a couple... Uh, Focus players on some offensive tackles. Figure out what we want to do there. Okay, most important thing that Chubb only wants twelve mil. I mean, obviously we don't need him, so I'm not going to sign him. But Jesus, some good receivers. 
Um, most important thing is an edge rusher. That's what we need. We got 17 mil to do it. Cam Jordan, no. Anyone on the right side? Marcus Davenport, no. Dang, there's not like a stud. <laughs> Ngakwe's got an offer. Any uh, edge outside linebackers that rush the passer? No. I mean, whoever we get is probably only getting a one-year deal. Um, I could just bring back Ngakwe for one. Or we could do Cam Jordan for one. He's just going to keep getting worse, though. I'll tell you one thing. This definitely would have been time to get a receiver. Like, Jalen Waddle sitting here is just crazy. Too bad I won't be getting him, <laughs> unfortunately. I want to get him, but I'm not going to. Do I just say... I could say screw it on the end, draft an end, take Trey Smith, move him over to tackle. He's got the size for it. 6'6", 330. He's got interest in us. We could pay him like a lot. I'm going to do that. I'm going to pay him like a tackle. I'm going to give him a very player-friendly deal, five-year deal for Trey Smith. He's going to sign that contract. So Trey Smith's going to end up probably being our left tackle. Uh, trade Maybe trade Raymond, and maybe that pick and move up and get um, an edge if there is one. That's probably what we'll end up doing. That's the only guy I'm going to offer. We don't have the money to keep offering other people. So Trey Smith is signed. Okay, so Trey Smith, that's the only signing, like I said, I'm going to make. Let me go ahead now with you guys. Let's check out this... Uh, Ooh, edge. Top five edge. I don't know if he's that good, though, you know? We'll see. Uh, and so we got round one projected. There's a decent amount of them here, aren't there? But we definitely have to take a look here. I'm just going to advance it to the last mock draft five. Um, that's all. I'm just going to advance it to basically the last week when we got to pick who we're going to put our uh, scouting on. And then we'll go through everything because we got to figure out exactly like who's supposed to go where and then we'll figure it out. Okay, mock draft five. So we got Rudy Glover projected to go third. Next end is going to be Joe Joseph. And then next one, Donovan Hightower. And then that's it. There's only three supposed to go in the first round, which is interesting. I'm probably going to. Hmm. Let's take a look at all these guys. So. Don Hightower, he's a power rusher, so he's got defense moods, C block shedding. I mean, he's good. He looks like a good player. He doesn't look incredible, though. Joe Joseph, we know speed rusher, B finesse moves. Not worth a top 10 pick, probably. And then Rudy Glover, who's going to go third. C power moves. Jeez, these. It's kind of a. I mean, so he's a run stopper. He's got A block shed. He's definitely a good player. But not worth moving all the way up for that. So I'll probably just stand pat and take one of the next three guys. Um, let me um, let's go look at uh the other uh, ends and see who would make sense for us in the spot. So we got Devin Edison, James McDonald, uh, Glenn Seymour. I mean, there's a handful of guys. Adonis Winston. Let's take. Okay, we'll start with Adonis Winston here. Power rusher. Hopefully, he's got a tackle. He looks really good. Okay, so he's definitely going to get a, a focus guy. So, Donis Winston's going to get one. Uh, we'll take a look at Devin Edison here. Uh, D finesse moves, but he's a run stopper. Uh, doesn't intrigue me much. James McDonald, I think. Power rusher could be pretty good. B block shed, A tackle. Strong. Really strong player. I'll probably put one on him just to see. I feel like we kind of know what he is, though, in a way. And then last but not least, we got Speed Rusher. Well, we got Justin Jeffries, too. There's a couple of them. Jeez. Uh, we got Glenn Seymour. Kind of just looks all right. And then Justin Jeffries as well. Speed Rusher, probably who he looks, he looks really quick. So Justin Jeffries will probably, I'll probably put it on Jeffries, McDonald, and Adonis Winston. All right, here at pick 29. Just going to take a look at the guys, see if any of them make sense for this spot. James McDonald, B block shed, D finesse moves, B power moves, A tackle. Um, I think he's definitely, I think he looks definitely better than Justin Jeffries, I'd say for the most part, maybe. Um, he's just a different, they're different styles. We got a power rusher and a finesse rusher. So James McDonald, just not, fa I mean, he's not a fast player. He's just strong. He's just a, I mean, he's meant to play the edge and not be fast at doing it. Um, <laughs> and then we got um, Marquise Allen. Where did this guy come from? Was I not ever looking at this guy? Hold on. Hold on. He's, this, he's really strong. He's kind of like the same thing as McDonald in a way. Um, but he might be better than, might be better than Adonis Winston. I don't think he is, though. 
I mean, Adonis Winston's a power rusher who's like the fastest player in the class. I'm going to take Adonis Winston here. I think he's got hidden. He does. Okay. Adonis Winston's going to play the other side of the edge for now. He's got a couple years to kill Devell him because we're moving on to year three of the rebuild. All right. Going to take this center here in the second round. Scott Richardson just gives us another offensive line. Hidden development will definitely take it. Gives us another option. Offensive line. Seems like uh, Ryan Kelly's almost basically on his way out. Probably going to move in for him next year. All right, took a normal dev tight end here in the fourth round. That'll be my uh, last pick I did. Just felt like we could maybe use another depth at the position. Seemed pretty all right. And as I had normal dev, this is what it is. We're going to advance to the end of the draft. All right, getting some offers here for Bernard Ryman right outside of the draft. Um, I'm curious about Slate. Does he have hidden dev? Because if Slate is hidden dev, I'm doing this trade. We'll go figure out here shortly. Um, I'm going to go see if he does have hidden development. Hold on. Okay, Slate does have star dev, so um, I could make that trade, or I could just get a first-round pick, maybe. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can trade a pick for him instead. All right, sending him over to the Saints for a second-round pick in next year's draft. Just felt like that was decent value. We'll take that as uh, we will go ahead and get into this next season. All right, taking a look at the roster going into this year. Looks good. I mean, offensive lines, I mean, definitely improved now with uh, Smith over at left tackle. Receivers, Pittman, Ferris, Pierce is still. Taylor, Flynn's up to an 89, going to be up to a 90-plus, hopefully, once uh, we get some more morale for him. And then defensively, I mean, it looks good. Defensive line, Winston's got 75 overall, hidden dev. Hopefully, he can have a good year for us. Ooh, they drafted a, a hidden dev defensive lineman for us. Cool. Becker's there back at him up, too. Secondary still good. Uh, we could definitely use a fourth corner. I'll probably go sign one here in free agency here shortly. Uh, I'm going to go check out free agency in general, see if there's anyone else we need to bring in. All right, Emmanuel Mosley coming in to be our fourth corner. Probably going to grab one more, too, just to make sure we got five. Elijah Molden it is. All right, we're five and two of the mid-season mid points. So that's good. Practice squad, what the heck? Bears, why are you taking Will Molly off my practice squad? <laughs> that's all right, though. Yeah, mid-season mark, we're five and two, so it's going well. Hopefully we, can be, hopefully we can, you know, just take down the Bengals. Let them know who's superior still, you know, between the teams. But uh, Mock Draft 2, we'll take a look at it. See, you know, like always, see if there's anyone here that we need to bring in. Ooh, this quarterback looks nuts. <laughs> no, obviously not second quarterback, but geez. Yeah, he looks like a beast. James Jacobson from Baylor. All right, all right, James, I see you. All right, players we need to bring back. Not worrying about the punter, Mosley and Molden. Langley, no. Okay, Kenny Moore, probably going to bring him back. Maybe not right now. Brain Smith's going to want to get paid again, so we got to worry about that. Quidi Pay, definitely want to bring him back. Um. No resign interest, though, which is definitely worrisome. Gilmore probably going to end up letting walk. Uh, Edwards going to have to probably bring back. There's just a handful of guys. Oh, man. If Pay was ready to make a decision right now, I'd do it. Braden Smith, probably have to bring him back on three years. I'm going to try a player friendly three year deal for him. He's coming back. All right, cool. Got a right tackle back. I mean, Queenie Pay's only going to get better. So I'm just going to throw him a four year deal and see if he wants that. He's coming back. Cool. So we get Pay back on a four year. And then Kenny Moore, Gilmore, Grover Stewart, I'll figure that out here later. I would probably bring back Edwards. Maybe not, though. He is getting worse now about hitting 30. So, worry about that at the end of the year. Hopefully, we once again win the Ooh, look at our division. We're 5-2. and two. Titans are 5-2. and two. Jaguars 4-2. and two. Hopefully, we can end up, you know, winning our division again. And maybe getting a first-round bye. That'd be cool. Help us out a little bit. Wow. We missed the playoffs at 11-6. and six. That is evil our division's so good jaguars titans us that sucks dang that's not even i that's not even fault i mean that's not even our fault they're just we're, our division's just so good i'd like dom flynn to be better we are in kansas city playbook if you are curious um but i'd like dom flynn to maybe play a little bit better i mean he's i mean touchdown interception ratio is good 38 scores nine picks but more passing yards would be nice uh john taylor continues to destroy Almost 1,600 yards, 23 touchdowns. I mean, that's part of the reason why, because he's just getting fed, which he should. He's that good. And receiving, I mean, James Golden's getting most of the targets, 90, 90 catches for 975 and 10 scores. Pittman, good, 66, 9079. Pierce and Ferris will solid as well. And then defensively, Shaq Leonard. Ooh, Kenny Moore at 113 tackles. Jeez, that's probably not a good thing. Tackles for loss, though. Donald Winston at 15. Nice. Hopefully he maybe wins an award. That'd be cool. Buckner was really good again. Grover Stewart, Quidi Pay, solid. Maybe not getting, maybe not doing as well as he needs. He's getting paid. He's going to be getting paid to do, but that's fine. Dang. Jake Elliott missing a few field goals. 
man, 11 and six missing the playoffs. That's tough. Well, hopefully next year we'll, hopefully next year we'll make the correct moves that, you know, make the playoffs. And once again, I know we're in the right playbook. The chiefs just beat the giants 44 to seven in super bowl 60. Like, why can't that be us? <laughs> I mean, because Patrick Mahomes, but Joe Burrow MVP, Jaguars head coach there, Patrick Bailey. Okay, John Taylor won Offensive Player of the Year. Let's go. That's cool. Miles Garrett, Defensive Player of the Year. Ralph Dunn for the Vikings. Let's go. Skull Vikes, and then Marquise Allen for the Bills. Hey, we looked at Marquise Allen. Okay, I'll take a look at our team before we officially go in to look at re-signing players. Um, offensive line, we're set now for sure. Receiver, we're still fine. Uh, Got to bring back Alec Pierce, I believe, though. Um, ooh, Superstar X record now for Golden. That's dope. So, dang, Quinn's up to a 95, too. We have to win it all. Diggs, Kenny Moore. So, Gilmore's gone. We know that. Gilmore's gone. I already said that before. Goodwill's got superstar development. Hold up. All right, defensive line's kind of set, then. Uh, Bobby Creek up to superstar dev. That's cool. Shaq Leonard. Mike Edwards is probably going to walk. Got a couple spots we need to fill. We'll figure it out here. Let's go to the resign players tab. Kenny Moore probably can't afford to let him go. We'll hear, we'll take a look at that here in a second. Grover Stewart probably going to bring him back one more time. Uh, Alec Pierce for sure going to give him like a four-year deal. I think he'll take that. Pretty cheap. We'll take that for sure. 57 mil to work with. Uh, Ryan Kelly going to let walk. Cross is gone. Most of these guys are gone. Kelly's, like I said, Kelly's gone. Edwards is gone. And Mike, I mean, Mike Edwards wants no money. I could give Mike Edwards a one deal and, and sign over him. You know, if he comes back, it's like, we'll take him. He wants $3 million. Like, that's fine. Uh, Kenny Moore, don't think I can let walk. So, because if Kenny Moore walks, then we need to sign two DBs. We'll get Kenny Moore back. I'm, I'm only going to give him one year again, though. Okay, Kenny Moore's back. Grover Stewart, 83 overall, star dev, 32. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at free agency before we, uh, you know, throw him money. All right, looks like we got about 40 mil to work with. I mean, our, we're fine. Offensively, it looks like we're fine. Um, like, yeah, we're definitely fine offensively. Might have missed on this Rafael Ray pick, but it is what it is. Offensive line's good now, especially we got Richardson stepping in for Ryan Kelly. And then defensively, uh, just need a second defensive tackle and a corner. So second defensive tackle and a corner, simple enough. And then we'll build the rest of the way through the draft. I don't think there's anybody in the draft that I'm going to... I think just, we just have to make the moves right now. So we get a, defense, a corner, defensive tackle... Hopefully we sign at least one star and there's no, so we're going to bring, it's going to end up being Grover Stewart back on a one year deal. And then corner wise, I mean, I'll probably just get Martin Emerson like a two year deal for now. I guess I'll do a three year deal for him. He's 25 player friendly, three year deal. He'll probably sign that. And then we will go ahead and give um, Grover Stewart a contract. Yes. We'll give Grover Stewart back on a, on a one year, on a one year deal. So we got Martin Emerson Jr. and Grover Stewart. Got them both. Okay, Stewart and Emerson both back. We got 23 mil to work with. Um, don't think there's anything we need. I'm going to look around, though, because I'm not just going to miss out on someone that wants to be here just because because I mean, we can sign over to you. Garrett Wilson. I love Garrett Wilson. But we don't need receiver now. Man, if Kobe Dean only wants three mil a year. I mean, we're, we, have, we, we have our linebackers kind of set, but, like, for three mil... He's just a depth piece. Not going to worry about it. We'll figure it out in the offseason. And we do need kicker and punter again, so we'll go ahead and do that. So, mock draft five, we are, we are picking 18. They want us to take this corner, Greg Dawson. Don't think that'll probably happen. Um, I don't know if there's anyone I want to move up and take. There's no one that's just like, I'm dying to grab. I mean, I'd like to grab a safety, but... There's none that are that high up. I don't think there's a first round safety. So um, we'll take a look once again. I'm just going to sim over to my pick and we'll figure out what we want to do. All right, I figured out. I think I'm going to take Alex Griffin. I'm just going to move back in the draft and take him. He looks like, I mean, the best strong safety in the class. Good at everything. I'm not projected to be a first round pick. So I think if I just move back to like the end of the round, I'll grab him. All right, Minnesota, we get to pick up a, no, we get to pick up another second in this call. We get to pick up a second in this draft as well as move back to 25. Definitely going to do that. I'm going to move back and take that safety. Yeah, he's right here. Alex Griffin going to be the pick. In development, not surprised. He probably will start for us as safety. He'll probably play more Mike Edwards, honestly. All right, picking fifth here already in the second round. Um, Give me a moment to figure out what we're going to take. Yeah, I know we don't need a tight end, but this tight end looks way too good to pass up on. A catching, A crash, A catching traffic, possession catch, but he's super athletic. Yeah, I'm going to take James Bell. 
normal development. I don't really care. I don't. He looks so good. He's going to be really high overall, I think. All right, I'm already interested in this defense tackle. I see A power moves, and that's all I need to see. A power moves in the second round, for sure. Head and dev. Let's go. All right, took a middle linebacker here at the back end in the second round. Tyler Davidson, 88 speed. Looks all right. 21 years old, maybe could become something in the future. All right, we're here in the third round. I just went through a lot of guys and nothing intrigued me, so I'm just going to let the CBU finish that out. I was literally just like going through almost everybody, and I was like, everyone just looks so similar, and no one's like good enough for me to make the pick on, so we're just going to let the CBU decide. It's okay. I'm pretty happy with how that draft went, so draft recap right away. Um, that tight end should be pretty high overall, I think. 74, I figured he would be, but we got it at 76 overall safety. Uh, Wilcox 73 and then Davidson 73 too. So they end up taking Dean Taylor. Okay, cool. Dean Taylor. Cool. And that's fine. All right. Look at our, over so this is year four. We got one more after this. If we don't make the Super Bowl or win the Super Bowl, 93 overall offense, 87 defense, we're a 90 overall team. And you'd think we're only going to get better. We'll take a look at this, uh, team here before we, uh, sorry, I, we send to this mid season point offense flims a 93. We got Jonathan Taylor, Pittman, F Ferris, Pierce, uh, tight ends wise, we got Bozeman, Bell, Golden. Offense line looks really good. Defensively, Wilcox and Depp. That's sweet. Okay, but yeah, we got Diggs, Emerson, Kenny Moore, uh, Edwards, Griffin's here too. I guess Griffin's not going to play just yet. Uh, Blackman, Orchard, Shaq Leonard, Bobby O'Creek. Okay, see, like we're fine. We're good. Just like win. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Edge, this is Winston. I guess yeah, that makes sense. Um, okay. I think we are fine. All right. Four and two at the midseason point. So we're Titans are seven and oh, uh, we're just like, nah, Texans are and seven, but the Jaguars are good too. What is happening? Okay. Our offense is so bad. Our, is our quarterback just terrible? We're running KC playbook. Do I need to change that up? Maybe I need to change that up because obviously it's not working. Um, let me Davis Mills, is he the quarterback of the Texans in their own seven? He's putting up numbers. Hold on. All right, players ready to negotiate. I think it's just the time we have to finally extend our quarterback. Quentin Nelson definitely has to come back like three years, if not more. He's coming back on that three-year deal, though, for sure. Quarterback, yeah, Don Flynn is going to have to get paid. So much money, too. I don't want to have to pay him because he's not. he hasn't been amazing, but I have to pay him. 48 mil a year and he's like i don't think i don't think so yet okay that's fine shaq leonard wants so much money too okay we'll have to figure this out james golden absolutely gonna bring him back superstar dev tight end i can't let him leave 13 mil a year it's got to happen he's back and then theo burbank will bring back when he's available everyone else will have to wait and see i mean there's definitely a lot of guys i like still on this team that are I can't bring back yet at this moment. We're, we're going to bring back our quarterback. At, I mean, we have to bring him back. But I'm just trying to figure out what playbook we should be running. If our quarterback's just... I don't know. It's it's hard to say. It's obviously not us. I mean, it, it's like... It's not, it's weird because it shouldn't be the Chiefs playbook. Who... Should I try Bills? I could try the Bills playbook. Josh Allen always puts up good numbers. I'll try the Bills playbook. We'll switch it up. We'll try the Bills playbook maybe for the rest of the year. But yeah, we're 4-2. and two. I mean... Our defense is really good. Four and two. If our offense can just be a little bit better, there's no reason we don't win 11, maybe 11 games, 11 plus games. Uh, the problem is the freaking Titans are seven and zero. They're probably going to like 15 and two, 14 and three, and we'll go 12 and five, and we'll be the wild card team. We'll lose in the first round. Okay, we we actually won the division. We went 13 and four. The playbook change? Did the playbook change help? We all the way up to 12. We were up dead last, number 12. Buffalo Bills offense is the way to go. We have a 95 offense. We're night. We're so good. We just have to win. I don't know how we're not the one seed. Who who has a better record in 13 and four? Stupid freaking Bengals are also 13 and four. Gosh. But yeah, taking a look at the stats this year before we sim this week. Yeah, that change definitely helped. Up to 4,700 yards, 40 touchdowns, 10 interceptions for Dom Flynn. John, I mean, John Taylor's still really good. Over almost 1,800 yards and 22 scores. Six six yards per carry. P Michael Pittman had breakout, buddy. 100 catches for almost 1,500. Eight scores. Love to see that. Al Pierce was still good. Corey Ferris is good. James Golden, maybe not as good in the offensive playbook, but still a stud. And then defensively, four guys go over 100 tackles. One sack numbers-wise, just our sacks are just a problem. We get tackles for loss. I mean, Buckner, 20. Stewart, 17. Pay, 14. Winston, 13. We just don't get sacks. Forrest Walker with only nine, Stewart with six, Pay with only four. It's just not good enough. Um, 
but our defense is good. Like it's like I don't want to change the playbook and screw it because we were the we had the fifth best um, points per game, eleventh in passing yards and nineteenth in rush rushing yards. But I just can't. I don't think it's worth even risking. Um, John said, "I want players the weekend, week eighteen, but I don't think it's worth risking screwing it up by maybe by changing the playbook. We'll see if we get to win this week. We need to win this week. Let's go. We beat them 20, 28, 21. All right, we are back in the divisional for the second time in this video. Last time we made it to the AFC conference, AFC uh, championship. We lost to the Steelers. We lost to the Chiefs, not the Steelers. My head's on Steelers franchise because we're a doll. If you guys are not watching Steelers franchise, shameless plug." Check out my uh, other videos on the channel. Check out the Steelers franchise playlist and go through and watch those videos. Those are those have been fun. We've been pumping those out a couple times a week. Um, okay, but back to the more important thing. 13-4 taking on the Raiders. They're 11-6, but their overalls aren't good. Like, there's no reason we shouldn't be able to go in and get this win. At home, no problem, right? Man, are we already down like two scores? Down 10 nothing. Can we score? Okay, cool. Touchdown. Get a stop. Get a score. Top stop. Just like that. Boom. No stop. Need a stop. Need a stop. Didn't get a stop. Need a score. Defense is struggling. We're down 20 to 14. Need a score. Need a score. Red zone alert. Play moment. You know, in the 11, third, and six, eight seconds left. We need a score. We need we need points. This is on me. I believe in my ability. I don't know if I actually do, but I'm gonna try to believe in my ability. Switch this up to mesh. We have a timeout. We don't have any timeouts. Okay. Good to know. Well, we're going to take our field goal. <laughs> Matt Gay is going to make the field goal, though. It's going to make it 2017, which is fine. Hopefully, we can show up better in the second half. Just take a lead and not have to worry about it. All right, we tied the game at 20. Need to get a stop here. Doesn't look like we're going to get a stop. We trail by 7. And we're down 14. Man, we just we just can't get out of our own way, can we? And now it's gonna be me getting us in our our own way as well because I, now it's up to me and I suck at this game. Tight end over the middle, all the way up to the five. Let's go. We don't got time to waste. Hurry this up. Hurry this up. Hurry this up. Quick, 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 quick. We only have four uh three down linemen. Should be able to get John and Taylor with ease. Taylor pushing forward in the end zone. Let's go. Touchdown. Gonna make it once again a one score game. And can our defense get off the field? Um, this is the down. This is the game right here. Run the clock down like they should. They're going to hand it off, aren't they? Hand off. Just make that tackle. I mean, it's already over. They're going to punt with about no time left. And yeah, unless I take this back for a touchdown. Wait, no, they're not even going to, they're going to run it out. We lose again. Oh, man. Third rebuild in a row where we got to go into the fifth season to try to even make the Super Bowl. We haven't even made the Super Bowl. Falcons never made the Super Bowl. Um, Saints didn't make the Super Bowl. We didn't even make the AFC champ. We didn't even make the conference championship. I don't think any of those two. So at least we made that with the Colts. But we got one more year. We're 95 overall on offense and 90 overall on defense. There's no reason we shouldn't be. We need to be winning that game against the Raiders. Like our seat, like our floor should be the conference championship game based on our overalls. Season recap: Josh Allen MVP, Zach Taylor Coach of the Year, John Taylor won Offensive Player of the Year, Miles Garrett Defense Player of the Year, and then a couple more rookies. Raiders ended up winning the Super Bowl behind Jacoby Brissett, so that's something. All right, re-signing players. Um, Dom Flynn doesn't want to come back, but if he, you know, here's the thing: if he doesn't accept this offer. He will literally just get tagged. So, I like to play for a new team. No, you're not. Get screwed. Franchise tag for fifty-one million dollars. That's insane. Shaq Leonard, I probably need to bring back, but there goes all of our money. Fifty-one mil for that quarterback. Jesus, you're killing us. DeForest Buckner's probably unfortunately gonna have to walk. Kenny Moore also. Ugh, I can't. I can't. There's too many guys I want to bring back. I think Burbank has to come back. Uh, fair player friendly deal for four. Thanks to offer, not interested. Okay, whatever. We'll re-sign you back in free agency. Hopefully, Kenny Moore, I think, has to come back. Two-year deal for him. Cool, he's back. Uh, Buckner, probably going to let walk. Mike Edwards, also going to end up walking. Grover Stewart, going to walk. Burbank, we need to bring back. In free agency, probably. Um, do we need Becker? I'll grab Becker. Why not? See if he wants to come back on a two-year deal. He's back. Cool. 
So we need to bring back, we need to go get Burbank and figure out what we want to do at defensive tackle now with Stewart and DeForest Buckner both gone. I think that hidden dev D tackle we drafted might be ready to play the second spot, maybe, but we need to get a big boy. See, so yeah, if we look at our roster, obviously the holes now we we need a right guard. Obviously, that's the most important thing. We'll make we will make that happen, and then defensively, uh, definitely need. Pro I mean, probably two defensive tackles, and then obviously an outside linebacker as well. So outside linebacker, two defensive tackles, and a guard. So there's Burbank's offer. Hopefully, we're his top offer. We're not. He's probably gonna go to the Cardinals. Whatever. Okay, so I need to figure out someone else to play there at right guard. Kenyon Green, he's got, I could offer Kenyon Green a big deal. Very player friendly. He's not interested in us either, but if we can get him, that'd be cool. Okay, we're at the top offer on Kenyon Green, so hopefully we end up landing him. We've got 30 mil left to work with. Defensive tackle, DeForest Buckner does want to come back, but that's 10 mil. I'll probably end up doing it, though, because we need at least him. All right, offered Buckner. He's definitely coming back. Um, need an outside linebacker since Shaq Leonard is out of here it seems like he's just too much that's the problem there's a superstar x-factor corner here only wants like six mil i feel like i have to offer him a contract very player friendly five-year deal for him see if he we can get him doesn't look like we're going to which is fine um let's go ahead and man if we oh man i probably need to bring Shaq back don't i all right, so everyone we targeted here, I'm actually going to withdraw the offer on Junior Seals and just give him more money, and then we will, because uh, I'm going to give him that same deal, just like bump up the money, because it looks like we might be his top offer. Very player friendly, but I'm just going to give him even a little bit more, maybe like 5 and 3.5. Cool. I think we should get him now. Man, it's still we're still like right there. Hmm. Let's bump up his money up even a little bit more. I did not mean to do... I and I accidentally hit eval offers. Uh whatever. Okay, we don't get him. But do we get everyone else? Okay, we got everyone else, which is good. We got Trevor Bennett, Kenyon Green, and DeForest Buckner, which is nice. We have three mil. Well, we got more than that, actually. Just going to advance this, I think, maybe here. Hold on one moment. Let's check out the roster real quick. Okay, offensive line. It's fine now with Kenyon Green. Just going to make sure he's playing right guard. Yeah, that corner would definitely would have been nice. Uh, Buckner's back, though. Okay, we're fine at linebacker now. Our defense definitely could be better, but I think it's okay. Maybe he could use another D tackle. That's, that's I mean, maybe. We do have star dev guys behind him who are definitely going to progress. I think another corner would go a long way, though. That Missing out on that guy does really suck, but I'm going to see if I can sign another corner. If not, I might end up trading for one or something. Yeah, there's really no one here. We do have 10 mil, though. Um, I'm thinking about maybe just, like, paying a guy that we can trade like because like superstar development i feel like goes a long way so if we could grab like avante maddox on like a one-year deal or something or just like that doesn't really matter i'll just give him a very player friendly deal i mean worst case scenario if we don't trade him he can just be our fourth third fourth corner which is fine i did not mean to click out of that i think we're gonna get him though solid fans next week we should have him okay avante maddox looks like we got avante yeah we did avante max is signed on for a multi-year deal, probably just going to end up trading him. Like I said, we have six mil now, it looks like, to work with. Um, is there any other positions I think that would be smart to have another guy? We got six million dollars. Definitely could just use another guy. I mean, why not? I think defense is probably the most important. I mean, I wish there would be like a D-tackle. Could just get like Terrell Burgess on like a few-year deal. Just play like the third safety role. We'll try it. We'll do a player-friendly deal for Terrell Burgess, and that'll probably be it for us. Did we get him or do you go Patriots? We did get him. All right. Burgess is on the squad now too. I'm going to send him to the draft, figure out what we want to do. Um, wouldn't be surprised if I end up making a trade for somebody, but if I do, y'all will see it. All right. So here's the trade I made. We, we're getting Legereus Snee. I trade my first round pick, Becker and Avante Maddox. Gets us another better corner to help us on the, in the secondary. So then we'll go. We'll have uh, Diggs, Snead, and then Emerson. I think that's a pretty uh, solid three. Not even going to worry about the NFL draft. I'm literally just going to simulate it. Um, might end up making another trade potentially, depending on uh, if there's some hole I see before we start the regular season. I'll let you guys know, though, if that happens. Jeff, recap. They sign us any studs. Ooh, second round guard. Is he got hidden? Hidden development. Second round guard. Nice. I like that. Justin Lucas. Out of baby. Welcome to the squad. All right. Well, here's the team going into the last year. 
offense. I mean, it's such a good team. It's just like, maybe we need a better receiver. I don't know. I'm not going to make a deal for anybody, though. I don't think. I mean, unless I dealt Pittman for someone, but I'm not even going to worry about it. It's a good enough team. We have a superstar X Factor tight end. I mean, that makes up for maybe not an elite receiver core. Um, defensively, we're good. It's not great, but it's good. The DBs are really good. Secondary is really good and sound. I mean, the year the, our best chance was definitely last year based on our record, but um, I will. Nor, last couple times, I haven't been going to the for the last season. I haven't been going to the midseason point, but I am going to go to the midseason point because if it's a playbook issue, I don't think it is. But if it ends up being a playbook issue, I need to make the necessary change. All right, we're four and two. We're four and two. That's fine. Offense could be better. Defense could be better. Oh man, what is going on? It looks like the Chiefs playbook works again. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh man, Panthers playbook might be the move. If they're four three, I'm probably gonna move to Panther playbook defensively at least. All right, Panthers do run four three. I am gonna change to the Panthers. I don't care. I'm risking it. Matt Rule, go big red. It's got to be you. It's got to be you, buddy. Do I leave it? Do I leave it with Buffalo? I'm going to. I'm going to leave it Buffalo because Josh Allen wins MVPs. That might be the death of me, but send the playoffs. Just make the playoffs. I don't even if it's a wild card team, just make the playoffs. 11 and 6, won the division. Whoo! Thank goodness. Okay, won the division. We are in the wild card round. But that's fine. I'm just glad to make the playoffs. Man, can we just like go through a couple sims where it's like sweat free and I don't have to worry about jumping in? That'd be nice. <laughs> um, but we are going to be jumping in against Denver here right away. Um, take a look at um, stats on the year real quickly before we get into it. So yeah, Don Flynn ended up being amazing. So I'm glad I didn't end up changing the play. But well, at least pass yards wide. It's 5,300 yards, 37 scores. Could have had less picks. John Taylor's still really good. Pittman continues to eat in this offense. Corey Ferris was good. Pierce was good. Geez, three, all three receivers had over a thousand yards. That's dope. Golden takes a step back in the offense. We kind of learned that. Uh defensively. Can we get to, I wish we had better sack numbers. I mean, granted, we don't have some elite, elite pass rusher, but it'd be nice to have better sack numbers. Could we play us with eleven? Um, but yeah. We'll see what we can do here going into this one. I hope it's just a not. I hope we can just get through this one, no problem. That'd be nice. For my stress levels and my happiness. All right, trail three nothing, but we get a quick score. That's nice. All right, looks like we're driving again. Points we did score again. 14 3 we're up. They go down score. Another score for our offense would be nice. Another score for the offense. Can our defense just got sweet? Okay, looks like we're gonna about to get more points. Go so fast. I'm trying to talk about what's going on. 31 10 at halftime. Basically, we're looking pretty good. Just don't choke. Don't choke. Keep let the clock run. Don't choke. Are we choking? Don't choke. Good. I think we're going to be fine. Big field goal. Well, we have the ball core up 17. We got a 51. Jeez. 51 35 final. We get the win. Jeez. A lot of points. Defense almost wanted to make that a game, but you can see a Dom Flynn 454, four scores. Definitely will take it. Moving on next week. All right, divisional. Of course, we got to take on the freaking Bengals. They're nine eight though, so you'd think that we would be more like we'd be. We're the better team. We're gonna hopefully win. Jeez, our offense is there. I mean, they're really good overalls, and it's the Bengals. Uh, I just it's just worrisome against Joe Burrow, but we're hopping into it. At least we're at home. I don't know if that matters in Madden. I know it doesn't. It might help if I have to jump in, but I, clearly nothing helps if I jump in because I'm terrible. According to every time I do rebuilds and I play, I always do horrible. All right, we get three. I guess that's okay. Um, looks like we're driving again, though. Points, that's good. 10 nothing. Can we get a stop? They go down, score. Drive, we're driving, we're driving. Score, points. Okay, geez, they scored in a half second. Um, field goal, it looks like we missed the field goal. We're tied, 24-17. Let's go, we'll take it. Driving again, it looks like. Need points, up 31-17. Let's go. Dang, they come down, score. We score right away again. They score again. Third down alert, get points, skip, skip, hold on to the lead. Okay. Did we score? We didn't score. They have the ball. They're driving right now. All right. We got the ball. Hold on. Let me play. Third inches. We're up seven minute 30 left. Oh, uh, definitely hand the ball off. We have Jonathan Taylor, right? Yeah, definitely gonna hand this ball off. 
let Quentin Nelson lead the way for this first down. That'll end the game. First down, let's go. That'll do it. I only had to jump in for that one play. Necess not I me. Mean, I didn't necessarily have to, but we're going back to the conference championship. Thank God. I'm going to need this ball out, and I'll see you guys there. All right. Heading to the AFC championship game. I've got a bad feeling. I know we're about to see in, in this round. I've got a bad feeling. I'm shocked. It's always the Chiefs. The 14 and 3 Kansas City Chiefs. This is where dreams come to die. We're going to lose. I know it. They have Rashawn Gary. That doesn't seem fair. Um, but, well, don't advance. We got to play it. Chiefs AFC Conference Championship game. To get to my first Super Bowl of these rebuilds, can we do it? We've already are over one of the AFC Championship games in this rebuild. And we're in Kansas City. Well, we'll see what happens. And we're already about to be down 14 nothing. This is just going to be a bloodbath. It's 21 nothing, man. I just can't deal with this thing. This is so garbage. We're just getting blown out. Just getting blown out. We haven't even scored. What's the point? What's the point? We're up. Wow. 38 to nothing. We're trailing. You know what? Down 38 nothing. It's over, but I might as well have some fun and try to get some points on this drive. Wow, what a what a shameful end of the video. I mean, didn't believe, I mean, honestly, didn't know if we were going to end up, you know, going to end up getting points or anything, but dang, Dom Flynn, 6 of 17 for 55 yards in this game. Is that not the worst stat line ever? That is so bad. But, yeah. Going to be the end of the video here, unfortunately. 38 nothing. Well, 38-7. Hold on. 38-7 is going to be the final here. We're lucky that wasn't intercepted, if I'm going to be honest. But 38-7 going to be the final. Sean Gary just got there in a half a second. Holy cow. Um, Disappointing. Not necessarily surprising, I guess, is how I would put it. Superstar X Factor tight end. What a dog. Um, but man, hopefully one of these rebuilds, we can, you know, make it to the Super Bowl at least. I'm over three now in rebuilds, trying to get to the Super Bowl. We've done the AFC uh, championship now a couple times, both in this video, actually. I never made it before. So second time we've made it to the AFC championship game. I'm not really keeping track, but I am going to be keeping track mentally about how we're doing because it doesn't look good so far. Tight end in the end zone. Touchdown, we're gonna make it 38-7. Like I said, why can't like why can't I get points like that in actual like crucial moments? It is what it is. That'll do it. Um gonna load out. We'll take one look one more look at the team and then we'll do the outro. Alright, final look here at the team. 96 offense, 90 overall defense. Defense ended up kind of being I mean our offense was horrible against the Chiefs too. But final look at the offense, Don Flynn, a 299 overall. Didn't play like it. Um good team. I mean, definitely a team capable of winning the Super Bowl. I guess just didn't get the job done. Final look at the defense. I mean, our defense was the best it had been last year. Obviously, it didn't work out. Um, but yeah, the Jerry Sneed, we took him from the Chiefs. We was unable to help us get the victory. But yep, that'll do it for this episode, guys. Um, I appreciate y'all uh, who've been you know supporting the rebuild. It's been very fun. Nice switch up on the channel, so I'm not just playing Pittsburgh Steelers franchise all the time. But that's really fun too. And if you guys don't check out uh, the Steelers franchise episodes, I highly recommend you do. Definitely entertaining and a good time, and really, um, I don't know. It's fun when you actually get to play the game. You know, when you start doing a lot of rebuilds, and you know these videos take forever. I mean, I've been recording for probably over three hours. I mean, actually, have been recording for over three hours. So. Once you, when you start doing these videos, it makes it more enjoyable to actually play the game. That's where Steelers Franchise comes in. So check out that on the channel. But I appreciate y'all watch this one. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, of course, and comment anything down below. Um, check out the links in the description. You can follow my Twitter, my Twitch, and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I think the Packers uh, rebuild is coming out next. Um, but Steelers Franchise will be out before that. So I appreciate y'all. Tune in for this one. Peace.